So today I am looking at uh, the probably the most requested tool for me to take a look at on my channel, and that would be the LTT screwdriver, um, which is black on black, and you're probably just looking at a black box right now. But uh, yeah, this uh, particular screwdriver is made by uh, Linus Tech Tips or Tech Tip. It's probably Tech Tips. It's hard to build a brain off of one Tech Tip. You know, unplug it and plug it back in. There you go. But um, yeah, it's a, a, a fairly popular YouTube channel here on uh, YouTube, and uh, they uh, do a lot of computer tech stuff, kind of reviews and tips of, of, of sorts. And um, yeah, I've been subscribed to them probably two, three years now. A while back, I realized that I probably need to learn a little bit more about computers. And uh, yeah, whenever I had a question, I would YouTube it. And uh, more often than not, their channel would come up with the answer. So that's, that's how I ended up watching their videos. I like their content. It's uh, entertaining and informative, which I mean is a good combination of the two. But um, yeah, so someone uh, a few months back, or actually a couple months back, said, hey, why don't you uh, take a look at that screwdriver in one of my videos? And I forgot all about it. And I said, hey, why not? I ordered this uh, December 8th. Uh, it showed up January 2nd. I don't think that's their normal lead time for... Um, their, their store. Uh, I think that was probably had to do more with uh, the Christmas holiday than anything. And uh, I wasn't buying it for a Christmas present, so I really didn't mind too much. But uh, it's just something I figure I should mention. And um, yeah, I one of the reasons why I, I didn't really look into this guy was just mostly because I'm not into ratcheting screwdrivers. I've said that before. I It's just not my thing. If you like ratcheting screwdrivers, I don't hate you. It's just your opinion. And my opinion is I'd just rather have a regular screwdriver. Just the way I roll. But um, yeah, so along with that, because I don't have any other ratcheting screwdrivers to compare it to, I bought the Klein 32305 ratcheting screwdriver. And um, one of the key selling points for the LTT screwdriver is the smoothness of the ratcheting. And when I was looking at this one, they went out of their way to make a cutaway. So you could feel the ratcheting on this one. So apparently they're proud of the ratcheting mechanism. And uh, we'll see how that compares to uh, the LTT one. I mean, I'm being honest, if I was going to buy one, I'd probably end up buying this one. But I said, let's take a look at this one just to uh, see, what, uh, see what all the hype's about. Um, let me crack it open here, and um, got a little. Ooh, just kidding! It's a screwdriver. Let's let's flip the camera around and take a look down on the thing. Now, fresh out of the box, you kind of see the uh, the uh, graphic on the front there. Got some kind of mission statement there, and Linus's signature, which is written. Not in cursive. I guess that's how millennials sign their names nowadays. And then it gives you a list of the screwdriver bits that I'm assuming that come with it. Uh, flip it open. Got a nice little graphic. Kind of like a diagram that you definitely won't be able to see. In there, an orange. And these are the separate bits. Um, if I am correct, I believe that these bits are proprietary in the sense that they're shorter to fit more into the handle, but you can use standard quarter inch bits on this. We'll check that. But I did look when I ordered these and the uh, extra bits are uh, right around seven bucks. So that's not too bad. Now getting the actual screwdriver out of the uh, box there, and I'm assuming these are the bits, and that's it as far as the packaging goes. So this particular one I built, I sorry, I bought in the uh, traditional or the uh, release uh, uh, version of this, which was the black with the orange accents on it. Um, this one with the bits, let's open these up just to see what's uh, going on in this little box here. It's got a whole stack of bits in there. Looks like, oh, they're all magnetic too. Isn't that cool? Oh, wait, no. 
Oh, that's the magnet. You know, yeah, that's actually a little cool thing I forgot about. I did watch a bunch of, like I might have said in the beginning of the video, I did watch a bunch of videos on this when it first came out. I intentionally didn't watch them again just so I didn't skew my opinion of the thing. But yeah, that's a little magnet tip that you could stick on the end of this for picking stuff up. That is pretty cool. All right, let me load up the uh, handle here with all the bits and um, yeah all right so we got all the bits in the handle here um, aside from that little magnetic one I was kind of oohing and on over there uh, you get an assortment of flatheads or slotted head screw bits uh, Phillips uh, looks like a one two and three the three I got on here uh, a couple of Robinson Robertson uh, square drives and a couple of um, hex uh, drivers and I will say the snap action I don't know if they got a magnet in there or if there's some type of latch but it does have a nice snap action uh, one thing with these screwdrivers with the bits that hold in the handle one thing that drives me nuts is, is when they all come loose when you whack it around a little bit and they seem to do pretty good. I will say, looking at it, look at that box. They kind of, kind of miss the uh, color. I don't know if you could see it, but this is kind of more of a, more of a pumpkin orange. As to this is more of a, I guess a fruity color orange. But I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty close, but a little off. Now, just. Taking a quick look at the old competitor, which is the Klein uh, 14 and one ratcheting screwdriver. Um, bits are in the handle. Uh, you get some torques in this one, slotted heads, flat heads. Uh, looks like an assortment of Phillips. And you get four different Phillips and you get that. I'm not sure it's the, um, oh, where the hell is it? Right there. Um, it's kind of square in the middle with a flat head. I don't, it's, it's an electrician type thing. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. Focus, focus. Not a chance. But um, yeah. So that's what that is. Uh, as far as the client goes, the way these bits are in here, I think they could have used to put another another one of these catches up here because the bits all just kind of they're all kind of flaring out at the bottom there but none of them seem to cut loose so that's not bad now as far as the the business end of this thing goes um, which is kind of the whole selling point with this thing would be the uh, back drag on the um, unit I mean this is that's silky smooth here. I'm going to put it next to the camera. Yeah, that's like almost non-existent as far as back drag goes. From what I remember when they were releasing this, this mechanism um, was borrowed from an existing tool and they came in and refined it. Um, I will say that the fact that the direction you're turning in um, is the direction you turn the ratcheting mechanism in is nice because most screwdrivers Yeah, it's the opposite so The direction you turn the mechanism in is the opposite direction of where it is actually going to ratchet And as far as Back drag on this one. I mean, there's ways of measuring this, but I'm just gonna have to get you to take my word for it It's not as refined as this one so next up would be the actual shaft. Um, I do like the narrowed, narrowed end on it, so you can kind of get in there and just take a loose bit and kind of walk it up with your fingers, so you don't have to do this the whole time. Of course, the client does not have that. Yeah, and I do have some standard quarter-inch Dewalt bits sitting over here, so. Yes, you can use standard bits as far as size-wise goes. Um, the actual hex drive end of it 
is about half the length of a regular one. Well, enough with oohing and all and filling these things up. Let's uh, kind of give these things a test for what I would imagine they're supposed to be used for, which is kind of taking apart a computer here. Um, this is an old gateway that I have sitting in my attic that I forgot was up there. And thanks to Linus Tech Tips, uh, this thing's like 10, 15 years old. But yeah, I got a, a Quad 2 processor and uh, 4 gigs of RAM of DDR3 memory. This was not a gaming computer, to say the least. It's a gateway, too. So, actually, it's HDMI. I didn't know that. It's because I didn't have an HDMI monitor back then. But, um, yeah, let's kind of get in the back of this thing and uh, start taking screws out and see, see if there's a difference. All right, I put a little tape on these things so you can kind of give you a visualization of it actually spinning. And I believe this is a number two Phillips, maybe a number three. It's probably two. And we're going to kind of stick it in the side here. And uh, yeah, that's actually kind of nice. The screw is a little. Oh, here we get to the end. And it's loose, so that's coming off anyway. I'll try the same thing with the Klein, with a the Klein, not decline. And, uh, yep, yeah, the backwards adjuster direction thing. I appreciate that with this. And they both kind of pretty much did the same thing. Let's pop the top on this thing. All right, let's take the fan and the heat sink off of the hard drive with the um, CPU. All right, so right there, I do have threads left, and it's back dragging with the Klein. And the LTT on the other screw. Dropped it. But yeah, that's uh, a... That screw's loose. There you go. It does have a nice magnet. I do like that about this screwdriver. Holds on pretty tight. I think this should come off, right? Oh, nope, got more screws. Count. that out of the way. A little bit of my ball skin dust there. All right, let's take the heat sink off. I've never taken a heat sink off before. Ratchet it all the way to the end. I get a good focus on my hand there. There we go. Still still find myself wanting to just kind of do one of those jobs, but we're testing ratcheting screwdrivers here. And the last one we'll do with the LTT. Come on. I will say the, the handle or hand grip on this thing, I, I kind of like the rubber better. As you can see, this is a little Kind of got a soft matted feel to it, I guess would be a good description. There we go. 
that wants to hold my back here. Nice. And that's all dried out, isn't it? <laughs> well, there we go. Um, off camera, I didn't want to have you guys suffer through watching me take screws out for 20 minutes. But uh, I continue to use it just so I got to get a good feel for it. And I wanted to get the drives out of that computer before I committed it to the uh, to the old recycling center there. But um, yeah, the LTT screwdriver. Um, Things I like about it, I like the bit holder mechanism, nice and solid. I love the ratchety drive on this thing. It's probably the cleanest I've ever felt, and I say back probably 20, 15, 20 years ago, I bought a ratchety screwdriver off the step on truck, and that was worth probably the same amount of money as this is today so um yeah that's that's not bad and this this thing blows that thing away as far as as far as the feel of the ratcheting mechanism like the narrowing on the shaft um it is definitely a refined screwdriver uh, feels nice in the hand as far as ergonomics go uh, i will say if i have to take one thing away from it, it is the texture of this handle um it feels it's kind of got a glass filled polycarbonate uh, feel to it but um yeah it um it's just it feels slick in the hands i don't know maybe a future revision these little little nubs that you got right here for the top of the uh screwdriver bit maybe add some of those because even just doing what i was doing the thing was falling out of my hands compared to the uh the old klein screwdriver um as far as the klein screwdriver goes it's a nice screwdriver it's pretty much you, what you would expect from a from a klein tool um not nearly as refined as this i mean this is all of 22 dollars and this is 70 dollars. so i mean not quite apples to apples but like i said this if i was looking for a ratcheting screwdriver i'd probably buy something like this i was actually looking at the milwaukee one but at the time i bought this i mean no one had that in stock so i went with the client and uh i always know clients are pretty good uh uh pretty dependable as far as getting quality tools go so um yeah like i said the client's nice i the ratcheting end with the thing turning in the opposite direction of the way you're screwing it has always bugged me about that ratcheting screwdrivers. They fixed that on this screwdriver. Um, but all in all, I mean, bit holders are eh, all right. Not too bad. Not quite falling, falling off, but not quite in there. Uh, these ones are still, still holding on tight. I do wish they would have given you just one extra one because you have an empty spot when you're sticking it in the end. Just, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> that would have been nice. But, um, yeah, so, like I said, this is a nice screwdriver. Um, is it worth 70 bucks? I think they're charging for it? Well, I mean, that that's really up to you. This type of screwdriver, I can imagine, you know, a couple of guys standing in a server room talking about cable management and Fortnite, and I don't, I don't know what, IT guys talk about and you whip this guy out and the guy standing next to you gives you the old is that the LTT screwdriver and then you say oh yes it is would you like to touch it and then you feel good about yourself I mean not any different than you know this snap on half inch ratchet that I have very refined very nice highly polished and also very expensive I think I spent over 160 bucks for this maybe close to 200 bucks for this i'm sure nowadays from what i've seen from snap-on prices this will probably cost you all of 350 dollars in a kidney if you're buying it so yeah i mean it's nice to have nice things and i think that's kind of where this qualifies under um then you have the other end of it would be uh 85 dollars for this dewalt screwdriver which anyone who's watched my channel knows that this is probably one of my favorite tools I've picked up in the past year. Definitely one of my most used tools that I've picked up in that time frame. But again, like I said, no one's going to give a crap about that DeWalt screwdriver, whereas to this thing, if you're in the right crowd, they're going to think this is cool. And that's uh, that's valuable uh, to uh, people. Look at that, that ratcheting mechanism. Kind of give it a 
second. I think this keeps going anyway. Um, yeah, so like I said, LTT, um, at some point in time, I am going to buy a new editing computer this year. And um, by watching their channel for the past couple of years, I'll definitely be a lot more educated consumer. Uh, thanks to them. And, you know, you got these creators out here basically doing stuff for free. I mean, they're, they're getting their ad revenue, but you're not paying anything to watch their stuff, sort of having to watch watch an ad every once in a while. And it's nice to throw a little little something back to them for, um, for the help they've given you over the years. So, um, yeah, I like it. I'm not going to use this at work. Uh, I'm going to stick that in my little screwdriver holder here. And uh, you'll probably see it in the future of me taking things apart on my channel and um, this uh, old Klein one I'll throw that in the tool bag because uh, it's decent enough but um yeah I think that's about it for this guy um, questions comments or concerns anything like that you can drop them down in the old uh, comment section there I will I'll link the Klein in the um, uh, description there if you're interested in it I'll link LTT in the description if you're interested in checking out their channel uh, like I said, it's informative and entertaining, and I mean, what more could you ask for as far as the channel goes? But, um, yeah, I think that's about it for this. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. There you go.